Hello and welcome. Interview question, tell me something that's not on your resume. Now, every time whenever you prepare a resume and give it to maybe submit at various places, your dream company, your dream jobs, you are always desired, you are always expected to answer every question that is not limiting to your resume words. You should go beyond an answer. And such a tricky question, how you prepare? Your resume is a written outline of your professional background, including the education, training, experience and skills that make you a qualified candidate. However, there are aspects of your professional identity that won't be on your resume. That's the reason you need to look at your professional identity and might as well extend with every question that is coming across. And your potential employer may ask about them during your interview. Before your interview, it can be helpful to learn how to select experiences or qualities not included in your resume and relate them to the position you are applying for. In this particular shoot, we'll try and answer many a question. Tell me something that's not on your resume. So planning your answer to, tell, to this particular question Tell me something that's not on your resume. Here are some steps to be taken when planning how to address information that isn't on your resume. The first thing is review your resume. There may be details not included in your resume that show important aspect of your professional background. Some items might include non-industry experience. Your resume features the most relevant experience in your job search. In your interview, you can mention side jobs, voluntary roles or maybe freelancing opportunities to highlight what other accomplishments you have. Skills. While you can create a separate skill section, for example, summary of skills or skill sets on your resume, which you normally do it, it is common to list your strengths in the descriptions of previous work experiences. During your interview, you can elaborate on these skills or discuss additional abilities not mentioned on your resume. Third, certifications. You may have earned various certifications to prove your technical abilities, management skills or other professional qualification. Though you may have mentioned them on the resume or in a cover letter, you can elaborate on why you pursued your certification and how you plan to use it in a new position. Awards or achievements? You may have a separate section for professional accomplishments on their resume, but it could be worthwhile to spend some time in your interview providing more context about how you succeeded or what obstacles you overcame. That's a wonderful way to explain it in the interview. Extracurricular activities. Having hobbies outside of work can help you develop additional skills and allow you time to pursue other passions. During your interview, you can discuss how these elements make you a well-rounded and determined professional. Special interest. Explain how you are passionate about specific topic, charitable cause or other interest outside of your workplace. Maybe music, dance, sports, arts, anything, performing arts, anything for that matter. To broaden the interviewer's perspective of your qualification. Now, select items with potential value. While you can discuss a variety of qualities, experiences and skills, you can optimize your answer by picking items that present value to your prospective employer. Remember values, the strengths. Make a list of options to discuss for this prompt. Of course, when it is prompted only when, then only you would be able to answer them back. When reviewing your resume, select items that set you apart from other applicants and demonstrate your ability to excel in that particular role. Though your qualifications and expertise may make you a good choice for the role, your unique experience and perspective can distinguish you. Consider items that highlight your ability to contribute to company goals and indicate your potential growth within the organization. Identify the benefits. After you make a list of potential talking points, 
for this particular prompt outline the specific value they might bring in the form of maybe skills many employers indicate their desire skill sets for potential candidates so you can select the skills left off of your resume that demonstrates beneficial expertise you can employ in the workplace qualities or characteristics if your items help define your leadership style work ethics or another professional character traits consider discussing them during your interview to show how you can fit in at that company values or passions what you value can influence your professional development including what industry and jobs you pursue what career goals you have and what work life balance you prefer discuss what items best demonstrates that you believe in and what drives you to seek new challenges fourth relate items to the position or company aim to demonstrate to the interviewer that you can be a strong addition to their team and will help the company meet its objective you can provide a quality answer by directly relating your talking point to how it benefits the company overall this strategy can help you focus on the most applicable items of interest and present yourself as a solution to their hiring needs once you have a list of possible talking points and the benefits of each compare them to the skills qualifications and expected job duties so look into the job description consider using the same language from the job description in your explanation to show how you can meet the expectations of your prospective employer you can rate the importance of options on your list based on how closely they compare to the job description and focus on the ones most relevant to that particular position how to answer tell me something about yourself that's not on your resume is in your interview you can confidently discuss items from your comprehensive list of applicable experiences skills and other professional elements to prepare for this prompt you can refer to your list and study one or a few important traits or maybe experiences use the following tips to craft a compelling response and what is that here it comes be confident whatever you reason for leaving the item of your resume keep in mind that it is vital part of who you are as a job candidate answering this question clearly and directly will show your interviewer that you believe in your qualification which would make you more appealing as a potential employee keep it very very brief you can mention one item to keep your answers concise or you can discuss two or three easily related elements provide strictly the necessary details when describing the experience or skill and only elaborate if the interviewer asks discuss what is beneficial about that particular item reference the skills values and characteristics that your experiences provide you as a prospective employee with their company it might help you to demonstrate the benefits with a specific example so always use that star method which we have discussed in n number of our videos explain why you left it off of your resume this optional addition can provide the interviewer insight into your valuable assets and help them understand any limitation you had when crafting your resume and cover letter if you have a volunteer experience that wouldn't fit on your document or a certification in an unrelated field mention why you didn't include them and state why they are relevant to that particular position so how can i effectively answer tell me something about yourself that isn't on your resume here are a few examples to guide you in crafting your own answer unrelated first of all let's see unrelated experience one experience i'm trying to giving you the answer answer number 1 unrelated experience one experience i left out of my resume was my time as a campus tour guide in that role i led group tours of prospective students and their families around the school and talked about my experience as a current student i knew what they were going through because i had been in their place 3 years before 
I became an expert at my college to help young people feel more confident about their future education. Since I'm applying for a copywriter position, I choose, this is number two. Since I'm applying for a copywriter position, I choose to focus my resume on the writing and editing experiences that taught me the basic principles I use every day. However, my job as a tour guide improved my ability to empathize with others and to anticipate the needs of clients which are essential to this position. Now, if it is a personal hobby, then how can I answer? I am in charge of runners group that meets every weekend for a distance run. When I first moved here, I started the group by posting a flyer at the local gym. But now I perform outreach on social media and manage the group's even calendar. It started with just a few people but now the group has moved to 30 diverse runners who want to be more active and healthy. I use my skills in social media communication and my entrepreneurial spirit to empower others. I understand that these skills would be highly applicable to the social media coordinator role. Now, if it's a key skill, how do I answer? I choose not to include my coding skills on my resume because this job seems more focused on graphic design and branding. However, I do have experience with HTML, CSS, JavaScript and etc. And I'm interested in using these skills on various web development projects I could be assigned to. So, you need to understand that what all skills, experience and qualification you have and only be relevant at a time. You might have more knowledge and more input to offer other than your resume. But remember, resume is just a concise professional part of you and you should be ready beyond your resume. That's the reason I keep telling my students that do not write exhaustively. Write only which is very specific to job description. Of course, you always have something more to offer which is beyond your resume. I hope we have made a point very clear here. Hope you get it too. So be best prepared. Best wishes. Thank you.